Because then I felt like, damn, I got to read more into motherfuckers. You know what really? I'm saying? I can't yep. just go off of what people tell me. I got to read into every uh, single little know, thing because motherfuckers is deceiving me. It really is, you know? man. Them books, and, 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 like Bro Sanchez said, them books is binders. They bind you they to their literature. They make you feel like everything you that person said is true. They make you right. feel like you know something without doing the work, bro. And exactly. that's the worst part about the world, bro. Like, they don't want you to be explorers. They don't want you to find out the the fucking the, the fucking all curing fruit that that may be growing in the earth because if you find it what the, what they they're gonna take they're gonna take the credit from your ass the roar and i'm talking to you if you take your ass to south america and find a fruit that cure all diseases do you think they're gonna let you live and take the credit hell to the gnaw they're gonna tell your ass where did you find it they're going to act like they're your friend. And when they don't need you no more, they're going to kill you, wipe you from history, and they're going to use that shit for their day agenda. That all lets you know the do, type of people you're dealing with. All he got to do is look up holistic doctors' deaths in the last year. Yep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look look at, look at up holistic doctors' deaths within the last year. It's shit, just, look at Dr. Sabi. Dr. Gone. Sabi. He gone, bro. He gone. gone. That nigga, Straight bro, like that, that nigga... Bro, that nigga was a prophet, bro. That bro, bro, that nigga knew he was knowledgeable, and they knew who he was talking to. They knew by the color of his skin who was gonna listen to this man. They was like, "Yo, this man, this man really know the truth. This man been living in Honduras, out of the out of the reach of the United States government for almost his whole life." So, so this is why he slipped under the radar, just in case people don't know. If he would have been, if this man won a case in New York City years ago, this man won a case where he cured cancer, cured HIV, cured AIDS, cured all Herbies. of these different ailments yep. from herbs. And they took this man to court and said, how are you curing these people? He said, well, the body is consistent of all carbon. So it would make it would, it would mean common sense to repair the body with carbon based nutrients. So he said, in order to repair the body of any Ill illness, you need carbon-based plants. Every human being is plant-based and water-based. It is not it, it, it is not toxic-based. So when you when you when you eat animal flesh, you're actually eating rotted meat, and you're trying to scavenge the proteins out of that meat to salvage for your body. That's what that's what he, meat consumption is. So when Doctor Say and, 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 and see and see when and see when you talk about that, I'm I'm not even gonna lie. I eat the hell out of some meat. <laughs> Me too, bro. I know I do. Right. But, but you wanna know some? You wanna know right. some though, bro? This my thoughts on this, Yo. bro. Like on some real shit, man. Bro, Sanchez woke me up to this, bro. He said, "Bro, I'm a vegan, bro," and I'm like, "I'm like, yo." Yeah, I everybody yo, started yo, off. I, no, I yo, I seen it live when he said it. One video, not even lying. Like, he, I'm, like I'm a vegan. Real. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a vegan. Uh, I I just let go of milk. That's why I could finally say I'm a vegan. You know what oh. I mean? And uh, you know, th uh, let me tell you something. You know, cause I, I come from a family of meat eaters. Niggas won't have a side dish at all. It'll just be straight meat. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what kind of family I come that, from. That's true. That's true. That's bro, true. That's you know true. what I mean? But look, let, let me let I me mean, tell because, you. Let me tell you. You gotta think. Who used to cook on the grills at the cookout? The, the men. men. God damn. damn right. Damn right. But go ahead and build here. Go ahead and let us know what's up, bro. So look, this this what happened with me. You know what I'm saying? You know, my my dad had had like two heart attacks. You know what I mean? Like back to back. You know, so damn. you know, I'm 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 man, I'm scared. You know what I mean? I'm scared yeah. at this point. I'm like, damn, man, you know, I, I don't want to lose my pop, you know. And so I started to research, you know. Well, basically, I already knew our lifestyle, you know what I mean? So so right. I started to research some, certain, some of the things that we did, right? And, and right. I, when I came across the food parts of our lifestyle, I started to notice a pattern. I'm like, damn, all these people are, are giving up their, uh, you know, their life stories about eating meat and then and, and, and coming to find out that... The meat industry owns the pharmacy industry, and the pharmacy industry owns the meat industry. They one and the same. Whoa. You know what I mean? So, so what they do is the meat gets you sick, and then the pharmacy industry helps maintain your sickness for as long as they can to get a, the, uh, a certain amount of money out you before you die. This, this is this is the way they do things. They they work hand in hand. Yeah, right? but guess what? Oh. That's only one side of it, G. Now check this out. Add this to your equation because you're talking some real shit. 
Now, the pharmaceutical companies own the meat industry. That's some shit I just you just taught me, bro. I didn't know that. Right. So now I'm connecting dots here. What if the pharmaceutical companies are actually infecting the fucking meat with with, with 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 chemicals that's bro. gonna actually that's actually driving people crazy slowly? Let me, let me break it down for you real quick. They are because they're one and the same, right? The, right. The uh the pharmacy companies see see the farmers nowadays right the the chicken farmers the cow farmers they don't call it raising remember they used to say we raise chickens here we raise cows here now they say we grow chickens here we grow cows they say they they literally use the terminology grow right so 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 to grow something isn't the same as to raise it because to raise it is natural it's going to do its own thing it's going to eat when it wants to that's eat it's going to play when it wants bro. to play but yeah, to grow bro, something is to force shit. something to do what you want it to do so what they yeah, do is yeah. even, even the chicken that you eat right now it, it doesn't see this the, the daylight it doesn't see any sunlight even when they say farm raised or or or, or no cage and all that shit, they they really are just saying that uh they they, they really ain't telling you the truth you know what i mean it's a, it's a doc, documentary called what the hell and, and, and if you I watch the documentary, shit. bro, I saw they, that shit. Yeah, they 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 they're, they're keeping these chickens inside of a damn uh, a cage that has no sunlight, and you'll get fined by the companies because the 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 chicken farmers and shit like that, they they don't have the money to uh, do things on their own, right? Because right. Purdue and Tyson and all that, they so fucking big, they so fucking powerful that they don't have a, a real say. Uh, uh, in the industry, you're of not gonna make any money. They, exactly. See, see, that's the that's the that's the misconception in America. Americans think, oh, when your company big, you just making big bucks. No, more uh, money really mean more problems. Which right. means when Purdue making a lot of money and they getting attention from the government, they realizing that they that Purdue meat is is actually reaching all of these people. The government gonna knock on Purdue dough and say, yep, you know what? It's time for you to join forces with us. You ain't got no choice. If you don't, we're going to close your goddamn plant down. And if you actually try to take us to court, we're going to basically we're going to basically fucking uh, uh, orchestrate a goddamn and, scandal to get and, your company and, shut and, down. And, 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 who, and who else used to do that? The Tyson. Tyson Chicken. Oh, you said that yeah. Mob? Hell yeah. All that shit but, but, tied in together. But, but that's, yeah. what, that's what I'm saying. They all one and the same. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. When, when, yeah. When, when you when you trace back the foundation of these things, man, organized crime has been around for so long. Well, well that's what they they branded organized crime. Right. right? That's that's not the name. People <laughs> people had to get a way of living. Like you got to do what you got to do sometimes to survive. You know. And shout out to them people that got to do what they got to do because sometimes yeah but see when they call it organized crime what they really talk they, about is labeling a something breed. They're, they're labeling they talk it. about a they talking about a different breed right now they talking about the nigga not only selling drugs this nigga he got a he got a factory that make this shit he got the people working in the factory making this shit packaging it up not only is he got people packaging it up he got he got a whole rotation it across. Going. yep he got his own operation that's organized crime now, regular crime is I gotta I gotta re up, I gotta go meet my plug and go get these bags off. That's regular crime. That's not organized crime. Organized crime is being the fucking drug, the kingpin that the plugs go to. That's when you get caught for organized crime. When you the motherfucker that the plugs go to to get your shit, you are the person that the basically orchestrating organized crime it, it because it's, it's a big ass trail. Exactly, bro. So, so like when when we looking at shit like that, bro, when we looking at the mobs and shit like that, there is no way in hell the mob did not did not infiltrate the politics. There is no way in hell. Yeah, it, because, politics. because you gotta look at it like this. When 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 we talking about, I'm sorry, but I just I I just seen this light and I had to say it. it, it it's like y'all remember that time when mad cow disease was going on oprah she influenced all them people not to eat beef and all them people yep. did not eat beef it's kind of like when trump became president because trump got these billions of dollars 
So you already know most white folks are influenced by him. They're going to go vote for this dude over Hillary. And, and it's just some real shit because you, when you look at it, the, the two things are like one and the same because yep. these two people got influence. They, they, yep. they could change over the, the world. world as we know it. Yep. And, and, so, and, and, they, and they doing it at their expense. They got so much money. They spending our money. Trying to yeah, save right. money in their pockets, but you got billions. So, so why are you trying to save? Why can't you build more infrastructure schools? Did you see what just happened in uh Florida? They just yeah, built yeah. a fucking bridge and the whole thing fucking collapsed. That's a damn shame. That shit crazy. Damn shame. That's a that damn shit shame, man. Damn shame, bro. But, but now, you know look. what? But, but that's, that's, that, that that's real playing. shit, though. My, my dad uh, operating it. Well, he was an operating engineer. You know what I'm saying? Structure. That, that shit was I, staged to get the attention off Trump, man. Oh, uh, you damn right. I, I had to learn about that shit. You know what I mean? He, even growing up, he, he forced me to take, you know, all hands-on classes, all the, the architecture classes I could take. You know, they barely got wood shop and shit like that in schools anymore. But, you know, I, I was still able to take, uh, you know, little, little classes that to deal with that shit. Yep. There's no way in hell that bridge should have fucking collapsed like that right after it was built. You know what I'm saying? That yep. that was forced. That that was on purpose. There, that wasn't no damn accident. Not even a whole no motherfucking week. Right. But y'all got this yeah, goddamn man. wall y'all building, and, and and U.S. forces can't even climb over that bitch. But you got this bridge collapsing. That's fucking crazy. Should I get That's it? real crazy, man. That's some real crazy shit. I saw that shit yesterday. I was like, damn. But um. Back on this shit about the food, though, man. Like that's some scary shit. And you mentioned you mentioned uh mad cow disease and hoof and mouth disease. Uh, what I want y'all to research on y'all free time is Plum Island, man. Plum uh, Island I, is. I off researched the that shit. Yeah, Plum, yeah, I know about Plum, that. <laughs> bro, Plum Island is where they that's, actually they actually build a diseases. Movie. That shit they, a damn sci-fi movie, man. That shit scary bro, as hell. It's and it's real. You right. It's just right. goddamn sci-fi movie in real right. life, bro. And a lot they of people say, don't know about this shit. They say fish, fish and like lizard hybrids be coming across from that damn island, landing, landing on the lands, you know, across from that motherfucker. You know what I mean? It, what what's that shit like? New York or some shit? Where, where is that again? Yep, it's off the coast of New York. Yeah, they they say that shit be coming back. You know what I'm saying? Coming back to New York, like. Yeah, bro. Have you? Hey, bro. Shit. I'm, hey, bro, look, check this out, man. Have y'all ever heard of the Mothman? Yeah, yeah. That's what I think the Mothman was. I think the Mothman was a fucking experiment on Plum Island, and that motherfucker got loose. That's what I think I happened. Was. That's what I think happened, bro, because uh, Plum Island is where they actually do all this animal splicing, just like you just, just said. They do all this. These They, they, they try to splice uh, human DNA with reptile DNA, try to make flying humans and shit, super soldiers and shit. They also oh. now this mm -hmm. is a multi-level facility bro, so you got different levels for different shit. Now what they say on the bottom levels bro, they not only are they doing DNA splicing, they creating diseases. Right. Po population control, Lyme mm -hmm. disease, all of these diseases were created bro. So, right, so look, so I'm, I'm about to put y'all on some game. They the, the cure. When they create the disease, some information. Cure. I'm about to give y'all some information about me, right? Because because we kind of introducing ourselves. So right. before I moved down, before I moved down to Georgia, I told you I lived in Pennsylvania. I'm from Philly, yeah. and I used to I used to work for the Department of Neuroscience at Temple University. It's the seventh floor. Word. We okay. were on a newspaper for coming close to finding the cure for HIV. You can look that shit up and everything, right? My floor, seventh floor, Department of Neuroscience, right? That's some deep shit. All right. That's put put y'all on to some game, right? right. I, I, was a, I was a laboratory assistant, which means I assisted every single laboratory on the seventh floor, which means that I had access to everybody's information at all times. Damn. So, so the, 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 the first things that I started to notice, when I was working there was, I started working there three years ago now. Was it three years ago? Four years ago from, from 2008, yeah, 2014, right. I started working there four years ago, right? And right. so first thing I noticed was 
What what was the disease that was coming up from South America? Uh uh fucking now disease. Nah, it wasn't what? now disease, the, the most now? recent one. Uh uh coming through for with the mosquitoes that that was yeah. given uh it was some shit. I forgot. Damn, what's the name of that shit, bro? Um, fucking, did it start with a V or something? Or oh, F or some shit? I know what you're talking about, but it was some weird name. I don't know the it name was of a it, Zika. Though. It was a Zika virus where them pregnant yeah, women had exactly. them people on yeah. babies. Yeah, right. Yep. That's what it so, was. It was a Zika virus. We were purchasing the Zika virus. We were buying it. We weren't, you know what I'm saying? We weren't getting samples of people's blood and all that shit. We were buying the Zika virus. By the bundles buying it first first lab to ever buy it was my lab dr khalili that's that motherfucker's name he he uh he from the middle east you know what i'm saying he he, he run the seventh floor he's a director you can look it up k-h-a-l-i-l-i -I, dr khalili right uh, first person yeah. i see to buy it was him who did we buy it from south america Nah, hell no. We bought it right here in America. We bought it right here in America. Y'all bought that shit from so Plum Island, I'm, I'm about to tell you who we bought it from. You know what I'm saying? Because the shit always gets deep. We bought this shit from Bill Gates. Bill Gates? Damn right. He's got, he's got a foundation that's supposed to be looking for cures for things. He, he buys and sells diseases all around the world. Yo, that's some scary shit, bro. I don't think you should have told me that, bro. Now I'm sitting over here brainstorming, bro. Do you know Bill Gates just fucking put a fuckload of money towards the fucking, the fucking weather controlling program? This is what they do. This is what These they do. These motherfuckers are spraying you know diseases on people, bro. Bro. Let me tell you, I'm, I'm about to break it even down even further. So the next thing I noticed was what we were doing to the mice up there, right? Because that, that's how we test. We test our mice for the most part. Mice, sometimes rats, you know, here and there. Uh, I, I, I never really seen any other animals that we use. But, I, but when I worked at Children's Hospital, we had monkeys and shit. But I, don't, I ain't going to get in. That's, that's my younger years. I didn't have access to the information like that. You know what right. I mean? But here, I, I, had a, I had a key role. They had to give me all access because I had to file to run their files and shit. You know what right. I mean? So right. look. So here it is. We doing all this shit with these mice. So I'm so I asked them. I said, I, I noticed that we use all white mice. They like, yeah. I said, well, where, where do white mice come from? Where, where are their net? Where's their natural habitat? They said, oh um, no, nah. yeah, they're they're not they're not real. They don't, they don't, they don't, uh, they don't, you know, they don't have a natural habitat. It's not natural for them. Exactly. They're cloned. That's where, exactly. that's where, bro, that's where Pinky and the Brain came from. Exactly. Right? So, so they yep. genetically modify these mice. You know what I mean? They, they, they make these white mice because when they find these cures and, 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 and when they do these things, they, they do use some brown mice. I can admit that. They, I've seen very few. But they do use them, right? <coughs> right. But, but the white mouse is closer to the genetics of a white person. Yep. Because it has Let's no say that again. A white mouse has closer genetics to a white person. Because it has no melanin. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Therefore, they use those because they want to make sure that their people was good. I'm yep. not racist, bro. I got love for everybody. I got white homies, Asian homies, Indian homies, like. You know hey, what I'm saying? Too, like it, too, it don't make no damn difference. I got I got love for people. You know what I mean? But it's some deep shit that motherfucking college. It's a college. I didn't work for no motherfucking, you know, no other organization. I work for Temple University. That's a college. You know what I'm saying? That's a motherfucking, right. you know, it's one of the biggest colleges in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Those motherfuckers damn. had access to that shit. They cutting the brains out, studying the way the brains react to certain things. We used to buy medical cocaine by the brick. By the brick. I ain't had mm. access to that shit. They ain't play that shit. <laughs> they ain't let me go, mm. go into that back room. We used to buy medical Hell cocaine nah. by the brick. By the motherfucking brick. Hell nah, bro. This shit is crazy. I'm like, what the hell is a medical cocaine? Nigga, I heard of medical marijuana. I ain't know people bought medical cocaine. Hell yeah. They just say it's pure cocaine. 
the purest you can buy. You know what I'm saying? But, but, but it's supposed to be specific to research. Have y'all ever seen a show called um, Helix? Nah, I ain't never Helix, seen that. Helix, say that again. Helix, what is it about? It's called Helix. H-E-L-I-X. <clears throat> Helix. Now I, I I binge watch. Now this is how real this show is. I binge watch the shit. It come on Netflix. You can watch it now on Netflix. I binge watch it. It's two seasons of this shit. Now the first season shows it's about a doctor who uh it's about a doctor who's a, a woman and her uh husband or whatever. They're both basically they're both doctors. They go to this island. I mean, they go to the Arctic. They go to the North Pole. Ironically, where it's this military base there that nobody knows about. There's military base there, and what they do is they work on diseases. It's a it's a center for disease control, and what they do is they they basically they basically work on, um um basically uh, making humans immortal. They work on they work on trying to figure out how to make humans immortal to all illnesses. Yeah, that, that that's what that's why they made that new show called Altered Carbon. You that's see, it good. That's that's that. <laughs> but they're making clones of the human bodies, man. That shit real. People, man, they better wake up. They putting consciousness in chips and putting them in the back of your neck. Shit is yep. real out here. They make but it I'll, artificial what, body. Yep. Like, like that shit is real. It really is, man. Cause because what we need to understand is there's people that have been talking about computer chips for almost 35 fucking years now. Right. 35 fucking years they've been talking about it's a possibility that the government may be chipping human beings for what they they deem to say uh to 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 lower the rate of missing persons and shit but i guarantee you a chip ain't gonna stop no person from going missing that's just like that's just like saying that's just like saying a lot can stop a thief a lock ain't gonna stop no thief bro because uh, one thing about a thief is a thief a, a thief if adapts to the he lock. Won't, he gonna go for it. A thief adapts to the lock. You tell the old head, uh, I put a lock on my door to stop a thief. He gonna laugh at your ass, right? Because you talk because a motherfucker with wisdom gonna tell you, I can you can change your locks fifteen times. Somebody gonna always if they want to get in, they gonna get in. They gonna get in. Yeah, I, I can break into anything with a. I can break into anything with a clothes hanger. Yeah, bro. Straight so up. like, like, I can. so a microchip ain't gonna stop nothing. So now we gotta look at it. What the fuck is the purpose of a microchip? Now I think about movies like because I they Robot. want people memories. They, they not they, only that, they, 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 they want to cover up shit. They don't. Not want only that, they, they come out. They want to control. They want to control what your brain is doing. Yeah. They want to stop. They want to stop the curiosity in human beings, bro. Because curiosity is what stops deception. Curiosity right. is the curiosity is the is the number one cure for deception. You got to be curious first to even 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 wake up to the fact that you're being deceived. You got to be curious. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So if they put a chip in you, and if they put a chip in your in your body, wherever the fuck that chip is, if that shit fucks with your blood cells, your blood cells go to your brain. If them blood cells got anything in that motherfucker that's going to attack your memory or anything that operates your brain, you have been fucked for the rest of your life. And what I mean by that, bro, is you cannot undo that. You can't undo nothing because they got they got little fucking micro bugs, scopic bugs that can fit on the eye of a needle and they can put that shit in your bloodstream. And that fucking micro that microchip that's in your bloodstream, they can control that shit through sound waves, microwaves, whatever fucking waves they want to do it. Now, what we need to really realize is when we looking at these shows like Walking Dead and shit, they're desensitizing the whole entire hey, world. I, lie. I, I just watched The Walking Dead earlier. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yo, ain't that now, imagine, crazy shit? I, yo, I swear, I just watched this shit earlier. What, what shit. Now, yeah. check this out. What if they've been putting chips in every baby since the year 2000? Now, when them kids grow to be 22 like us or 23 or, 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 or older, what if they flip a fucking switch and every baby with a fucking chip turns into this cannibalistic uh uh killer? That's population well, control. Well, 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 let's That's not That's population even... control. Now well, you see okay, what they're working well, on well, now. Well, 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 let's try to look at a different aspect. Because we building right now, and, and this is a good build. And yo, and yo, thank y'all. I mean, because our introduction 
to this to this panel shit the panel of knowledge number one like like i sent y'all the link man like like we we, we doing our thing man like big salute to y'all thank y'all for coming in and engaging with me man no yeah. problem man. And, and just spreading our knowledge and, and we gonna keep doing this man no doubt bro, I love anytime i buy my laptop man we gonna get on this thing and, and we gonna and we gonna go with it we gonna go with it and we like gonna let this, people man. in and no speak their peace for sure, bro. This, this, this is some strong ass shit, and, and we spread knowledge, and and, and people uh, are being woke or, or understanding what they don't know, or they're learning something new, and and not even exactly. that they get to express their opinion. Exactly, they get to and not only what that, they think. Not only that, what we gotta realize is this is technology, man. Technology is a medium between realities, and what I mean by that is. After 50 years, after me, you, and everybody on this panel is dead and gone, bro, this video feed may be available for anybody from my from, point exactly. Yes, the, it may be available for it yes. may be available online a hundred years from now, bro. And what I'm saying is, people might go back and listen to this very same video and realize what the world was, what the world, what the world went through during our lifetime. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Hell yeah. So, so in, in other words, I, the, the in other words, last year went through a lot. We went through a lot of hurricanes, and that was wild. Oh yeah, you know why they was testing the they was testing the programs, bro. They was testing the weather programs, man. You're, it's not a coincidence that Bill Gates uh 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 coughed up all of that damn money for that uh artificial weather program last year. That's not by coincidence, man. That's real. So. So and ask yourself this. Ask yourself this. If the world, if the if the world was a globe, could they control the weather? No. You can only control know. something it'd, it'd when it's when it's wet. You can you only control something kind of if it's in an enclosed and environment. All kind of technologies to be able to 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 to, to, to even start that process. Come on, exactly. My father, exactly. my dog got the house real quick. All right, do your thing, bro. No, it's all good. She out here now. That's why I was doing that call. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want y'all to think I'm on a fucking mic going and shit. Oh, oh, <laughs> that oh sound yeah, crazy. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. <laughs> hey, I got a question for uh the roar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where he at? He done got silent, right? No, I think he. Yeah, I got a up. question for the roar. He was. I got he a. Was nah, he's still here. He's still here. I got a question yeah, for I'll him see though. Him. Man. He was he was he said, I'm here. <laughs> hey, I got a question for you, bro. <laughs> hey. All right. This is my question to you, man. The same people that told you you live on a earth, on a globe, a spinning ball, hurling in nothing, and came from a fart. They told you you evolved from a monkey. Now, I just want you to answer this question, yes or no. Do you believe that, yes or no? There's only one answer to your question. It depends, no, no, it depends, it depends on your belief. I was born in a Christian home, and I believe in God. We all believe in the Creator, my man. That's not my question, though. My question no, is, do you believe? What I'm telling you is, if you ask this question to someone who is not a believer, he's going to give you a different answer. No, you don't know that. Yes. You only know you only know what a believer going to tell you because you a believer, bro. No. I'm a believer, I'm saying, I'm a believer, I'm a believer, so I would say I don't believe I came from a monkey. Okay, okay, that's, that's like, good. Yeah, that's yeah, good. That's but if, but I'm a non-believer, you, that's, you don't know. And that's true believer, because white people can't refer, black people don't carry flirt. Us people right here with melanated skin, we don't carry fur, but but them white folks, them Europeans, I mean, they carry fur because they descend as a Neanderthal. Let me... Let me ask you. You know, I'm not, even gonna, I'm not even gonna take it there. Hey, now hold on, uh, who, hold who on, was bro. Proving that point. That was Roy proving this point. Yeah, Let yeah. Roy was just Roy was just telling me that basically, uh, you got two different individuals. You got people that believe in God and people who don't. People who don't believe in God will tell you that that we evolved from monkeys. People who do believe in God are gonna tell you that we didn't, and that's very well true. Now let me ask you this: with you knowing that. How could you take the knowledge that they told you about the world you live in and hold it so close to your heart? How? They they told you in school. They taught you this in school, sir. Hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on. 
Hey, bro, bro, hold on, hold on. I'm not done. Hold on, hold on. I know, I know you're about to say something. Just hold up. Now check this out. They taught you in school when your parents dropped you off in school, and your parents trusted that they was going to give you some real knowledge. They taught you and told you straight to your face that all humans evolved from monkeys. Now you believing in God, and you know God exists. A creator exists. How could you believe the same people that told you that bullshit and say that they know exactly the shape of the earth and how the earth moves before airplanes were invented? And on top of that, how the hell could they measure a fucking spinning ball that is moving that fucking fast? How could you trust their words over your own five senses? Your five senses is the only reason why you believe in God. Let me explain something to you, bro. Hold on. Hold on. You don't believe in God because you were introduced to a Bible or any other sacred knowledge. You believe in God. This is the secret. You believe in God because you live in God's world. You live in what he created. You know something created this other than yourself. You know the people that you see in the world with you did not create this world. So that is why common sense. There's a reason why they call it common sense. Common sense tells you that something created this other than yourself and everyone else. That's why you believe in God. They didn't have to teach you about God in school because they know you're going to believe something was created. I don't want to attack you for, but common sense, all right? You learn, and the, that, that's what you apply to common sense. There are people who are so dumb. I mean, if, if you're talking about common sense in this, just imagine, like, you know, let's say, there are some people who believe anything, all right? There are some people who believe anything. Now, the same people that you are, you are, you are, you are talking about, them saying, like, um, why would I believe them lying to me and... I mean, everybody lies. Even your 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 your, your parents have even lied to you at some point. But yet, but guess what? Them, right? You're right. You're right. Now let me build on what you just said. Let me build on what you just said. Everybody does lie, but guess what? Certain people only lie about certain shit. Remember, remember what I just said. Remember what I just said. Everybody and, may lie, and, 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 but and that's people true. is only gonna lie about certain shit because yeah. only certain shit uh, can and, hold and, that and lie for so long. That, they they gonna lie they ass off. And this is this is this is the the point the conclusion I had came to not too long ago. You know, a, a lot of us came through the conscious community and things like that. You know what I mean? And, and they do got some truth to what they say in certain aspects, but. You know, I had comment. Uh, I think it was like Young Pharaoh page or some shit like that. Conscious community, brother. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing yeah. together. We, we, and, and we the subconscious community. You know what I'm saying? We the subconscious. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And there you go, right there. There you go. There you go. Exactly. Hold on. Bro, you hit the nail on the head, bro. Yeah, bro. But listen, but so, listen. I, I had comment on the on the page. I had said, I had said, look, every person got an agenda. You know what I'm saying? So take everything people say with a grain of salt and learn for yourself. Even, even exactly. you know, because uh, I speak on the Bible with my nieces and things like that. And my mom, she speaks with, with, with much conviction when she talks to them. You know what I mean? I told, I just told them straight up, you can, you can listen to what your grandmother say, but you got to do the work yourself. You know exactly. what I'm saying? You got to put in the work yourself because if you don't have knowledge from, from self, then you don't have knowledge at all. That, that, Leaving what somebody true. say don't mean nothing, man. Do, I, you do know, the I, I research your damn self. Go out there and, 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 and find out what it is. Go out there and understand something you don't know. I'm telling you, because like this, we go. Uh, we can don't go into depth like this. Don't take nobody advice. Don't take Look nobody it. advice. Go, go, go. Get, get, get your own opinion on it. Yeah, him. I had the camera on you, bro. You was going in for a minute, so I put the camera on you, bro. And, the and reason I was why I let you do your no. thing. The reason why I say only certain people can lie about certain shit is because look at mathematics. You can't lie about mathematics. You when can't was tell mathematics created? Y'all tell me that. Like, how uh, did the thought of math come to create? Did, did people come to want to organize stuff and they think, ah, oh, well, we put two pebbles. We got two pebbles. Well, this is this is how this is how it came about. This and, how and, it came and about. They learned how to do rations to you ration. Wanna know, you want to know where it started? It started from them wanting to count the stars. 
They used it. They used a, 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 a abacus, whatever that shit called. You know where you slide the beads from one side to the other. Have it you ever used earlier that? Than that? It might have started it, earlier than that. I mean, if you if you think about it, they used it. to count with stones. They used to count it with stones. They used to they used to map out the the sky with stones, and they used to count the stones, and and, and that's how numbers came about. Now the the look of the numbers, the symbols of the numbers, one, two, three, how they look. I don't know where that originated from, but the idea of numbers have always been around since yeah. the, since the beginning of man. And then, the, the, and that's, the, the, and that's, that's what I'm here to tell you. Common sense, man is already created with a package. You're yeah. not here. You okay? You're not born. Okay, you're not born as an empty brain that can't learn shit. You are brought here with shit already in your brain. That's true. Which is why you have you can actually you can actually sit a baby in a fucking jungle and not fend for that baby at all. And the animals will take care of that child and that child will grow up around them animals. And, and that's your baby. Now, you let's say you put your baby out there in the jungle to grow up around some uh, some animals that you don't know nothing about. And he grew up around these animals that baby that child can grow up to be highly intelligent in more ways than you can ever imagine because of the actual environment it grew up around. Now that them monkeys didn't sit that kid down in school and motherfucking teach him bullshit. The, the monkeys just lived with the kid and cared for the kid. And the kid was observant of the animal's behaviors and, and it learned and adapted to the around its surroundings, which lets you know that human beings as the apex predators, we are, they call us a predator because we, we feed no animal flesh, but we're not really predators. We're just apex creatures. We are actually we are actually conditioned for this world. We're made for this world. So so we don't really need we didn't need school. School was there to empower and disabil dis disabilitate us as well. School was put there to basically build a, 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 a more solid civilization. But what came with that? With every with every positive, you got a negative. So so with every good deed, you got the flip side of it. You got a bad deed. You get what I'm saying? So you got people. You got on one side. You got people that would just want to teach kids how to be good good citizens or whatever. And then you got the other side who want to teach kids about how to be good citizens, but also condition them to think a certain way, so that they grow up thinking a certain way, so that they do exactly what you need them to do when it's time. That's conditioning them. That's just exactly that's brainwashing. Exactly. It, so school can be used to actually condition you positive or condition you negative. And, 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 and use to make it you look crazy. Like, yep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, for yep. real, it make you look crazy. We used now, to now ask, yourself ask yourself this. Ask yourself this. If you go back in your history books and you look at globalization of, of the school system, Look at when the school system was globalized, which means when were when was every nation taught about the globe? When was every nation teaching their kids about the globe when that year, when whatever that year is, you got to do some real investigating on that because Copernicus was only in one region of the earth when he so-called discovered the earth was a globe and they made his ass a famous motherfucker across the globe. So called yeah. globe. They made him famous across the world. Oh, this guy from England or Europe, he discovered the real shape of the earth. Let's give him a trophy. He's dead. Way before airplanes was invented, he he knows the shape of the earth. How? Nigga, that's impossible. But they had to impossible. take the credit. Why? Because Copernicus was part of the secret society. Copernicus, we look at this picture and we see a doofy ass looking white guy. This motherfucker in his time could have been the baddest, the bad, the worst, the, the biggest badass of his time. We don't know. We looking at him and say he, oh, he looked like, look, look like a dorky motherfucker. He could have been a very influential, positive, charming motherfucker that everybody just wanted to believe because he acted a certain type of way. We have to be mindful that everything in, in life happens more than once. So the same shit we go through in everyday life now as 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 people in the social social light world, you know, socializing with different humans, the same shit we go through, they was going through back then. So you have people lying back then, you have people stealing back then, you have people killing back then, you have people doing all the same shit. So just like you got charismatic people today. 
that can win a whole room full of people with a lie, you had the same shit back then. You get what I'm saying? So the, the Masons knew this. The Masons knew this. So now we got to ask yourself, why did they choose Copernicus as the person to ban with? Why? Is it because he explained his bullshit better than the guy who knew the truth? Nope. Because the guy who knew the truth probably didn't explain his shit well enough for the people to believe him. So the motherfucker with the ball and the spinning ball and making shit look cool and shit, he kept he captivated everybody. And everybody wanted to believe in this ball earth theory. Everybody wanted to believe in the in the in the fucking in the fucking theory of maybe we can jump off of this ball onto another ball. Like just think about the whole the whole shit in all perspectives. Because a lot of times what we do is we look back on history and we look at shit from one angle. We got to look at shit from every fucking angle. We talking about a whole different lifetime, not just one person's life. We looking at everybody that's associated with that person, what they was, what, 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 what type of personalities they may have had. Because we ain't got no proof of their personality. Ain't like you got Copernicus' diary. You don't know what the fuck he was writing in his journal. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what type of mental health this motherfucker had. Ain't no telling what. You know what I'm saying? Copernicus could have had the, the mind of a 10-year-old. And they just used his ass just to fucking shit on the whole world. You feel what I'm saying? He probably ain't even come up with the damn globe. They just pinned it on his ass just in case when shit hit the fan, they can say, oh, well, we blame Copernicus. So, you know, when we look at shit, we got to look at shit from an objective standpoint. The whole world, I'm talking nations of people in different areas of the world knew the world was flat. They knew it was flat. That means everybody on the face of the earth with all their five senses as a collective, they knew this motherfucker was flat and not moving. And then you couldn't this, tell them wrong. And you couldn't tell them wrong, nothing. You couldn't tell them shit because they knew they world. They knew everything they, they, about their world. They knew for a fact this is what the earth looked like. It's, it's impossible to circumnavigate this world and not know that it's flat. That's, that's, yep. that's, that's the fact right there. It's impossible. If, if so many people had learned these uh, different travel routes and things like that, to travel these seas, and you, you know, um, yep. it, it would be impossible, but I, I believe that it was just a part of a larger agenda. See, they didn't see the purpose of it being a, uh, a spherical earth because they didn't have anything to do with it yet. You know, they, they had yep. already started to uh, use this mass deception, but they hadn't figured out a way to use the globe earth. That's why it was illegal. And you want to know how they used it? You want to know how they did it? Christopher Columbus. Christopher he didn't Columbus. Do none of this shit that they, they say he did. Christopher Columbus was there basically they feather in their hat because they had Copernicus. They had Copernicus as Every the foundation of the a hero. Everybody yep. need a hero. Christopher Columbus was their reinforcement. They he reinforcement of their lie. Yep. Oh, the Jesus. earth is a globe. Christopher Columbus just circumnavigated the globe, you guys. It is true. It is a round ball. You heard Christopher Columbus? You see what I'm saying? So that's some type of shit we was dealing with back then, bro. So we can't just take everybody's word for shit. But I'm going to tell you why it was so easy for them to de deceive people and why people may have got confused on, on the shape of the world. When you're on a boat and you're in the middle of that world with that water, people tend to believe that they have control over the direction the boat is going. That's their main fucking downfall, believing that they boat they have control of the direction of the boat and they underestimating the currents on the outskirts of the, of the outer ring of the world. What I mean by that is closer to Antarctica. Them currents is so damn strong, bro. Them currents are so damn strong. You would think your ship going straight. That motherfucker going sideways. That motherfucker, that motherfucker moving to the left a little bit. You see what I'm saying? So when they, when they circumnavigating, they thinking they going around the ball, but they really moving in a circle. They move it. They, they boat is moving in a circle, but they think it's going across a, over a over a ball around a ball like a like a boat sailing over a ball or some shit. That's why they were so confused, because when you on water, you don't really have sense of direction. Motherfuckers can say what they want. That's why you needed a compass when you get on the boat, because you needed that magnetic point to be pointing north. So, you know how to how to compare your direction and your boat in contrast to north. 
you had to have some kind of comparison because that's just like in the desert. When you're in the middle of the desert, you look left, you look right, you look front, and you look back. You don't see shit. You don't know what direction you moving in. You don't know which way you're going. You don't know if you're going towards north, south, east, or west without a compass. The same shit happens on the water. And that's exactly what happened when why they why they were so they were so quick to say it was a globe. Now, a lot of people that a lot of people say that they knew the earth was flat a long time ago because you know. Just like right now, you got people that know about the ice wall. Well, shit back then, uh, shit back then, you probably had people that came across that motherfucking ice wall that told stories to people, and and and, and them them stories stuck with people. You know, you ask the Asians, you can't tell an Asian motherfucker that they've been living long enough that dragons don't exist, because you you go to some parts in Asia, they gonna tell your ass, they great grandparents, they great grandmama, and all of them. Talk, talked about dragons. You ain't going to tell them they full of shit. They all talked about dragons. Now, we talk, we look at them and say, why the fuck Asian culture is always harping on dragons and fucking shit like that? Why they always talking about shit like that? Could it be that the first Asian civilization, when they first came about, came in contact with a, with a being like that or a creature like that? And as a whole, and the foundation of the a Asian civilization was built off of that, that memory, that memory of their civilization. You know what I'm saying? So what I mean by that is the first civilization of Asians, the first Asian people to ever be here. They were encountered with dragons. They've met, they met creatures that looked and resembled dragons. And that's why it's all over their fucking mythology, all over their, their culture, all over their history books, all over their ancient texts, their ancient scrolls. They talk about this shit. And it's a reason for that. A lot of people want to say, oh, that's just a metaphor for something because we don't see dragons flying around right now. It must be a metaphor for some shit. They really meant to, they really meant the dragon to mean this shit. No, them motherfuckers really seen a dragon at one point and that stuck with their ass. And no wonder why they built the big ass wall to keep shit out big great wall of china ask yourself why the hell they built that motherfucker they built the wall of china for for, for military purposes they built the wall of china so that they, so that they can arm themselves with enough manpower to defeat something bigger than them but not dragons that wall cannot keep a dragon out You know, so say that one more time. When they built the Great Wall of China, they built that shit. The walls cannot bring, out. cannot keep a, 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 a dragon out. So that wasn't the purpose of building that wall for a dragon. Hell no. Hold up, you said what? Do, those the wall wasn't to keep a dragon out. How do you know those that? Walls, if you believe in dragons, then you should believe dragons fly. How, how can that goddamn wall keep a dragon out? Well, who's to say all the dragons oh, flew? Saying, yeah, so you saying who's to say all of the dragons flew over the wall? And so you saying you know there was how no dragons that was dormant to the land like the Komodo dragon? Because Wait, let's let's the Komodo okay. dragon is a dragon that walks on if, the land. If, right? I'm gonna tell you if this. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. I didn't say uh -huh. the wall was to keep the the dragons out. I, I said it was to keep something out. Now. Dragons do fly, but do you know how high that damn but, but, wall but is? Let's just say that. Let, Hold let's on, bro. Say it wasn't Hold to keep oh, yeah, we're well, going to head. Hold on, yeah, bro. Yeah. Bring, bring, yeah. bring it up, brother. Yeah, bring like the room. wall of China, how high does the Great Wall of China sit? That's the question. Now, why did they build it that high? Now, if a dragon can fly and they're trying to kill this damn dragon, they got to be sitting up pretty damn high with enough manpower to shoot their damn arrows at this damn dragon. They got to be on something firm. They got to be standing on something. They got to have enough soldiers standing on something high enough to attack this dragon before it burns their whole damn fucking civilization down to shit. That is why they built the Great Wall of China. There is no other reason why they would have dragons on all of their ancient texts if one Man, didn't exist. You know how long it took, it took them to build, that, to build that wall? If there were dragons that could fly the side, could fly. I mean, the dragons would have been the before the war would, would have been completed. Wall. Bro, that go to show you how serious they was about this shit. 
They were serious, bro. The they wall was serious to prevent a man from entering to their land, not dragons. A man? Come on, bro. A man? One man? Yeah, like, like the man that you th you think they lying to you. Why would you Why would you build a wall that damn long, that damn tall, and and with all of that, it take all of that work to build that one damn long ass wall for because one. Because there's damn something called a ladder. You can use ladders to climb walls. So if it's a goddamn long, I mean, you gotta. It needs an extra more work. Well, exactly. If the wall but, wasn't that, if the wall wasn't that high, it could be like I mean, you can easily climb over. Uh, no, even if the wall, let me let me say this real quick because I gotta I gotta go, y'all. Let me let me just say say my piece real quick on, on, on the Great yeah, Wall of China. Yeah, go ahead, bro. I got I gotta go. My fault. All right, so look, when, when you this picture right here just shows you the, the people who were invading would have had to climb up. That's a mountain that the wall is on. Right. Yep. So if invaders were coming in to invade China and they built their wall, it would already be too difficult of a journey to climb up that mountain to go to war to begin with. Exactly. You gotta understand you gotta understand how wars are fought, right? Wars they people try to fight wars as much as possible on even playing grounds. I'm a I'm yep. a student of war. My dad was in the Marines, so all, all I did was study war growing up, besides my own shit. You know what I mean? And there's one thing that I do know is that the terrain is already too difficult for people to journey through. And the 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 point of uh at the point of battle, by the time they would have had gotten over that map, that the uh that mountaintop. They'd have and, been too tired to fight in. any damn thing. Exactly. So they would have only had to build a wall in small sections to keep out uh where where the flat land is or, or or where the land is that uh is easier to go through the wall water had only served the purpose there and not in those high places uh where they where they built it so um i just wanted to say that real quick man i, I gotta go brothers uh make make sure y'all uh well y'all got me on it on the google hangout so y'all could contact me anytime man yeah man Look, okay. hit me up anytime too man hey, it was good building with you bro real it talk. definitely was good building with you too man that's good, me and you brothers, man. We, yeah, we definitely yeah, gonna do yeah, more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Real talk. We, 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 we gonna keep this going. This, 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 this ain't the end of it. Hell like no. for real, man. Like, 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 like what we did tonight was powerful. I ain't even gonna lie. And if you want to keep it going, we can keep it going because you know. Yeah, yeah. We gonna definitely keep it going, man. This, this, just this go ahead and watch this video power. when you can, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got y'all. Yeah, yeah. We in here, man. So, so you for can sure. go back to the video. Share the video to people, you know. Yeah, bro. So I sent you the link, and we are gonna keep it going. And, and, and if we can, we could try to make this a daily thing. I mean, I'm not hey, even. Hey, I don't mind. I we, don't we, mind. We, bro. So, don't sometimes you got work. something on your mind, you want to talk about it. We can put it out here, spread that knowledge, let 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 people understand a way of different thinking and and, and all that stuff. You know, just, just think with a conscious mind and. Oh, uh, oh yeah. open up. Birds that's why, that, that, that's, that's together, why it's man. knowledge uprising. Because it, yep. it's, it's uprising of knowledge. You're learning something you didn't know. That, that's yeah, why I yeah. say uprising. Be, 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 yeah, because, be, because you're learning something new every day. Regardless that's if true. you don't even know. It, it like, like let's say uh last week, right? You, you was chilling, just hanging out, and, and, and you needed your breaks, did. But you didn't get, but you didn't do them yourself because you didn't know how to do them. So you went and got them right. did. Right. But the next time you got your brakes done, you studied up and researched on how to change brakes. Or you, you watched the yourself. motherfucker do them. Yep. Yeah. Or you watched the motherfucker do them and you learned how to do them. And, and, and you learned it yourself and you learned how to do it and you realized how much money you just saved. Yep. That's, That's knowledge. That. That's knowledge. Knowledge is power, man. That's and real, knowledge, man. Is, me and and knowledge is power. And, and, and I'm going to tell you one more thing. Knowledge is ignorance. Because the more you know, the more naive people become because they don't want to understand what you're saying. Or they just want to make it a debative argument. Or they just want to disagree. Yep. Well, we, 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 we can That's agree to disagree, story. but yep. we was knowledge, spreading knowledge. Knowledge can breed ignorance and it can weed wisdom. Yep. That's right. It, yep, it can bring right. ignorance to wisdom. It's a double edged sword. It's good, man. Y'all, I'll catch up with y'all a little later. All right, him. All right, you all be right, bro. Peace, brothers. Peace, brothers.
We still here. We still here. It ain't no way yet. We got this thing going. Roar, you still in here? I see you over there. Yo, you still yep. in here, Trigger? We we yep. we we, we going to keep it going because the, the, this panel shit, the, the, this is what more brothers need to do, man. We got we to yeah, spread man. the word with each other. Yeah, man. And you know what? You know what? What we need to do with this truth, it, and a lot of, a lot of people a lot of people um may may agree or disagree the important thing about truth is it it should be used to bring people together whether we find out the most negative sides of people or the most positive sides we got to work we got to do what we got to do justice with it we can't turn into the same people we trying to defeat you see what i'm saying and that's that's the lure that's the lure that comes with knowledge when you hold so much knowledge you got you 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 become lured or you become um 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 what's the word um coerced almost into into wanting to do you know you know bad or wanting to do um evil with the knowledge because you want to feel empowered you get what i'm saying so that's 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 the taste of obtaining knowledge which is why bill gates more than likely more than likely bill gates is going to become somebody that we we should all worry about because of his knowledge you see what i'm saying because his knowledge and who's handling well, his knowledge it's, it's not even just bill gates it's it's people beyond that oh yeah most definitely i'm just using him as an example yeah because he's definitely a smart motherfucker you but you see what happened to goddamn uh the apple guy you see what happened to his smart ass he he he, yeah. he was smart in ways that prostate they couldn't control cancer. prostate yeah. cancer yeah, yeah, well, that's what they say. You know, that's what they say. But you know, uh, everybody gonna have a story if they get you out of here. If the government kill you, they gonna have a they gonna have a, a pretty viable story about how you disappeared or how you died. Um, uh, another thing I want to touch on with y'all that that just sparked my mind when I said what I just said was the Amelia Ear- Ear- uh, Earnhardt situation. Uh, Amelia Earnhardt, when when she circumnavigated, down, brother. I don't think when they she, remember that. Break it down, she, brother. Yeah, yeah. She's the pilot. She's the first female pilot to so-called circumnavigate the globe. Okay. She went once, and she went again, and she went again. And when she went the last time, she did not come back. This is my theory on what happened to Amelia Earnhardt. When I did my studies on, on the time she did her circumnavigation, it would it would it would appeal it would appeal to you guys to realize that she also she circumnavigated the earth around the same time that um 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 what's his name Almo Bird had just discovered what was in Antarctica. Now you gotta remember something. When airplanes was invented, they wasn't just allowing any nilly willy motherfucker to go fly around this motherfucker and do shit. They wasn't just allowing that. They was just allowing it in within the country just to see how far airplanes go to study of airplanes. They had to study how far certain amount of gas for the airplane to last. All of this shit. This is new knowledge when airplanes first came about and started kicking up. So they had to they had to they had to test everything out. They had to learn about the world. They had to send people out on airplanes to 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 find shit out and bring it back. So and and come and tell tell the government about it. So when when admiral bird went down to antarctica and came back and told the government what he said ironically amelia earnhardt it sparked her interest to do what circumstances